Your 4C hair can't? No, your 4C hair can, honey. I'm gonna show you how I get my 4C hair longer, and if you wanna see how I get my shrinkage from this to this, keep on watching till the end. I'm here to share all of my tips and tricks to get longer, thicker 4C hair so that you can love and enjoy your 4C hair as much as I love and enjoy mine. 4C hair is beautiful and versatile. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is apply the treatment to damp hair. I will have all the ingredients and all the amounts listed in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. So one of the reasons why I love using this treatment is because palm oil is so rich and so buttery, and I think it's mostly used in West African dishes. And one thing that my mother has always done for me since I was a little girl is use it on my hair because it literally stops breakage right in its tracks and allows your hair to grow longer, thicker, and healthier. So I shampooed out the palm oil thoroughly and now I'm going to show you all my conditioning process. I think this is really important. So also one thing that I want to touch on is you are going to see my hair right here and you're going to be thinking, oh my gosh, she cannot be 4C, she's not 4C. I promise you, if you've been my subscriber for a while now, you already know I have high porosity 4C hair and it's also longer so the water is going to weigh it down, but I promise you, you will be shook. You will be shook when I get out of the shower and I show you how short and how extreme my shrinkage is. So anyways, a lot of people say I use too much conditioner and I'm telling you all, I do all of these things because there's a method to my madness. There's a reason why my hair is so thick. There is a reason why my hair is so healthy right now. It has not always been healthy. I wanna make sure that you all know that I've been through it with my hair. So I like to saturate my hair with conditioner because it makes it so I get a lot less breakage and it weighs down my strands and it elongates my hair so that the detangling process is a lot easier for me. Are you all ready to see how extreme my 4C shrinkage is? Well, here it is. I have high porosity 4C hair, so the water weighs it down very quickly and the water also leaves my strands very quickly. And this is my hair. It's very dry, it's very coarse, and it even breaks off quite a bit when I do this, when I actually let it dry like this. But I did it for you all to see my true hair. I usually just blow my hair out right away like this so that I don't get as much breakage and that's why I can't really wear my hair in a furrow that much. Alright, so now I'm going to show you all what I do before I do my braid outs in order to elongate them and to get them looking juicy. I like to apply the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum to my blown out hair and then I like to run through it with a flat iron at about 250 degrees. I have very high porosity 4C hair. I have to take these steps in order to make sure that my hair does not frizz up and all of my efforts do not go to waste. That's how I go from this to this. If you all wanna see a full braid out tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. All right, so I'm the type of person that does a twist out specifically just to put it in a bun. I have really thick hair and I really just don't like to deal with it all the time, so it's easier for me to just put it up in a bun. So what I'll do is I'll just spread some of this on my bun and a little bit around like my edges and stuff, and then I will tuck this under my bun, I'll tuck this under my bun, and I'll just put a do-rag, yes, a do-rag, I use a do-rag, <laughs> and I'll just put a do-rag around my bun and call it a day. As always, thank you all so much for watching. For more tips on how to grow long natural hair, make sure you follow me on Instagram.